Jason from McGinn's Woodshop. You want to see how I made this table? Stick around and I'll show you how I did it. The wood's solid enough. Uh, it's just this one area where there's a little bit of sponging from the from the spalting. And so there's just a crack through there. So I filled it with some epoxy and that should be fine. Come on. Alright, so here I'm gonna put a rail system together and run my router to level off the bottom end. So I'll, I'll level that off to the face. my trim bit, my rotor uh, template bit, uh, and with that, what that is basically has a bearing here so that it can follow along the template, which will be this that I cut on the CNC machine that fits this tenon perfectly, and we're going to be making a mortise, which is center of gravity. First depth cut out, we'll go ahead and take the template off. And you can see now we have a perfect circle here, and we'll now use this edge as our guide. By simply cutting a piece of wood that's four by four, scrap piece, four and a half by four and a half, which is the same square size as one of these faces, uh, I then found the center and ran a brad nail through it and then snipped it off just to give a little bit of space and what I can do is then line that square up to the edges, make sure it's straight and press in the center. Mark it with a pencil just so I can see it better. Now I've got a hole right in the center and I'll go around each side and do that. With the center hole marked and the depth set on my drill bit, I can then use a one inch Forstner bit to drill out the main center and then I'll use a chisel.
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my film as much as I enjoyed making this table. I finished this live, and I'm going to start doing that with my projects. Uh, some of them I'm going to finish live on YouTube before I release the actual video, the build video. So if you're interested in that, you might want to hit the bell down below on my YouTube channel in between, uh, right underneath my name and my logo, you'll see a little bell between subscribe and the number of subscribers. If you click that, you can be notified. And so when I go live, you'll get notified and you'll see me finish a project live uh, before I actually put out my build video.